I found an OP glitch in Among Us VR that literally lets you walk through the walls, and I'm gonna show you how to do no, it. Red, oh my red, word, red, there's red, a body, oh no way! Okay, before I tell you how to do the glitch, there's something I must explain first, so that when I do tell you how to do the glitch, what I'm saying actually makes sense. So basically, the game seems to actually make two separate characters for each player. One that handles most of the input, and another that handles the output and visual input. Now the character that other people will see is the second character. We'll call that character the actual character. The actual character is changed to your quest. That is so when you move your body, it actually looks like you're moving in-game. But the first character, or what we'll call the technical character, is actually changed to something else entirely. So whenever you use your quest, you probably had to reset your position multiple times by holding down the Oculus button, or if you don't like shortcuts, opening the menu and actually pressing the reset button. But whenever you do that, the quest actually creates like an anchor point, and that is what the first character, what we call the technical character, is chained to. This is where the glitch lies, because you see the technical character can't walk through walls because it's the character that handles the input of its surrounding. But the actual character, which is the one you look through, isn't chained to anything or affected by anything other than your headset, allowing you to actually walk in the walls instead of just staying in the same spot. So all you need is enough room for your boundary, and theoretically you can just walk through the walls, right? Well, not exactly. You see, they tried to prevent this by creating an invisible boundary behind the wall, that when you are in, everything is actually black so you can't see at all. But that boundary doesn't actually cover everything for some reason so if you go far enough you can actually see everything and now I'm going to tell you how to do it even if you don't have a huge play space to do this glitch what you need to do is just make a normal size boundary that you would normally play in but also add a path that you can physically walk on inside of your house wherever you need to draw this path out of your room and into the kitchen or something just make the path go as far away as possible from where you will be actually playing the game then when you finish making your new boundary go to the very end of your path you created and reset your position now just walk back to your play space and in Among Us VR you should be really far away from the menu. That means the glitch has worked. Now host the lobby and leave it on private so you can actually try to do the glitch by yourself. Then walk the technical character up against the wall. Once the technical character is in place, use whichever joystick you use for turning and you'll actually see instead of just turning, you're actually pivoting around the technical character. Now you can use this to go through the wall and I recommend changing the settings to smooth turn instead of snap turn because it makes it much easier to get into the right position. Now this is the hardest part. Because you can't see, you kind of just have to continually move back and forth until you can finally see again. There are only certain areas where this will work, and depending on how far away you were able to reset your position, it'll change where it'll work. So keep that in mind while trying to do this. And remember, once you've done the glitch, you can't actually just walk about freely, because the actual character is still in a room, which is what, when you move, it's actually moving. If that makes sense, it's kind of confusing. And remember, this glitch doesn't work everywhere, but the best place I found to do the glitch is in the corner of Electrical, because you can see like 90% of the map. And don't abuse this glitch too much, but go do it quickly, because the last time I did make a video about a glitch, it got fixed in like 3 days, so hurry. Thank you